Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here at Elkhart, Indiana Open House showing you all the newest and latest motorhomes for the year 2023. This is the all new 2022, they don't have the 23 yet, but this is the 2022 Tiffin Midas, which is their new B plus motorhome that sits on the Ford Transit chassis. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Midas and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. We are here bright and early in Elkhart, Indiana, showing you guys the newest, latest, and greatest motorhomes, starting with the Tiffin Midas. Before we begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going today? It's going good, you guys. You're official right there. I am, and you know what? I am really excited. Anytime I get to see a new RV, a new floor plan, it's just refreshing. Yes, and I wanna make one announcement, kind of one time to everybody who's watching. Um, over the next few episodes, you guys are going to see a lot of the latest and greatest. We might get interrupted by the manufacturers. This is a what's called a dealer show, so they're here to sell. And if somebody comes in, we got to cut um, so they can get their money, keep in business, so we can <laughs> keep in business. Andrea, let's begin. Model is the Midas 24RT. The actual tip to tip length is 25 feet 4 inches. This sits on the Ford Transit engine. Ford Transit chassis, the 3.5 liter V6. It's the Ford 350 HD all wheel drive cutaway. Andrea, I love this. Tiffin has been entering ever since Thor acquired Tiffin. A lot of people are like, oh, Tiffin's gonna go. No, Thor keeps Tiffin the same. What they do, like none of their class A's have changed, but what they do is they have now brought in their selection. No different than when Thor bought Jayco, next thing you know, Integra started making more entry level motorhomes. So they had the Super C, they had the Wayfair, and now they have the Midas, which I love because the Midas is a segment on this Ford Transit that not too many people are doing. It's all good, Matt. The more the merrier. That's what I say. I love the two-tone colors here. And then look at these tires. They're the hand cooks. Oh, Dynapros. 205-75R16C. Very nice. We have mirrors right here. I love the two-tone colors right here. You don't see that a lot. And then here we do have a seamless, not a bump over the cab, but it's going to be some storage over the cab right there. Coming on down, you can see that it does have frameless windows. The Truma Hot tankless water heater on board. It's a nice floor plan of it. And you know what, Andrea? What I really like about Tiffin is so many times people talk about, like I like Integras with the swoops and the swirls and everything, but not everybody likes that. A lot of people like this simplistic floor plan style. Right here, we do have very nice aluminum slam latch door. Got your door. in there. Yes. Very good storage. I like these doors. Nice storage doors. Yes, right here, we uh, we got the instant hot tankless water heater. Oh, A little bit wow. of storage there. Propane tanks right here. And we will have all the specs, bing, right there for everybody who's watching look on at this. TV. Oh my and goodness. And then look at that storage. This reminds me of uh, the RVs we were seeing in Europe with all this here. Now look at all this junk in here. <laughs> what what type of manufacturer has their display this way? Oh! Uh, <laughs> what's going on, Colin? He didn't want to be in the video, That's but, okay. but we have to. Just got ambushed. Roll time, roll time. <laughs> what's exciting? Hey, hey, he said you guys need to be nicer on the comments. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on one yeah. second. We love, we love everyone that views these, and we really appreciate the feedback that we get from these, so please comment. Tell us exactly what you like about these, whether it's you dislike it or, or you just don't like me saying how I'm doing things. Make sure I explain it better. So yeah, really no, appreciate you. Definitely. You guys. And they got a lot of positive feedback on the Allegro Bay. Allegro Bay. So with this also being a new product, read, type in every comment. This is the guy. He actually got a promotion. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. So he's going to be the one reading all your comments. Absolutely. And we do hear you. So if you look at the Allegro Bay now, there has been a lot of improvements since that first walk. Oh, good. And that's what it's all about. 
Absolutely. He's the man, sorry for ambushing you. Oh, you're good. Hey, roll Todd. Yeah, roll. War <laughs> Eagle. War Eagle. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, oh, little, little rule for Matt's RV reviews when you say you don't want to be on. That's when people are like, hey, Matt, can I be on the show? That's Matt's cue. Oh, Great. Yeah. People are like, Matt, can I be on the show? And I'm like, no. They're like, Matt, don't put me on the show no more. It's like, you're going up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Coming around the back. Okay. We have a tiny hitch. You cannot tow anything behind this. Just a 2,000 pound hitch. Really, 200 pounds of vertical weight. Oh. Wait a minute, that opens too. Heck? Oh, wow. Oh, oh three access. Very doors. nice. You know, you see this. This is cool. You see this on these B pluses, but they never look as streamlined as this. That's really cool. Very nice. You got a backup camera right there. Yep, backup camera. Like the taillight design. You know what it is? This is very very automotive design this looks like a lot of the rvs from europe yes, actually that's what i was saying about this little garage here speaking of make sure you guys join us every weekend for another new episode of matt's rv reviews europe edition very okay. nice we got our sewer down there and then potable and let me tell you something po oh potable water fell potable storage right there let me tell you something wow you. i'm impressed with the storage tiffin and thor industries is one of the manufacturers that are reading the comments to implement changes. That's amazing. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really impressed with how much storage is on here for as little as it is. Yes, ma'am. All right, we got our generator there. Yes. Great. And then over here, the door, you got a push button for keyless. Feel very, very nice. And then that looks like a running board. Does that go in, you think? I don't think so. No. Well, Andre, the outside of the Midas looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, it's always fun to see new floor plans and new RVs. And we got to find our cargo carrying capacity. Yeah, if you guys need us, just stop. And All right, we'll guys, I'm going to do a circle here. Thank you, guys. Cargo carrying capacity, we need to find that. It might be on the passenger door or the driver door. But look at this, you guys. I just noticed. Just now, sometimes I don't see it, but there's no slides in here. So it is like this all the time. Plenty of walkway, very spacious for no slides. Very cute. There's the bathroom. All right, Andrea, can't find cargo carrying capacity. If we do find it, Jen will insert it here, bing. Um, we will be looking throughout the whole video. Okay. But Andrea, I'm liking the inside Me of this. Me too. Very European feeling. And again, before we begin, let's give a big shout out to RV Life for sponsoring this episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the course of engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Hey, Andrea, again, I'm loving, loving this. Crazy thing, you know, we hate Indiana because it's so cold. But the thing is, we don't need to change our GoPro batteries every seven minutes. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sitting up here, Andrea. I love it. Ford Transit. Andre, you love it. Look I love it. This. We love it. The Ford Transit, they always do a phenomenal job. Power mirrors here, storage, cup holders, nice steering wheel. Okay. There's your TV. TV. Very nice. Screen. Yes. But that's kind of reminiscent of the Mercedes a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, when it first came out, you, you know, know? You, you, you have the Ram, the Mercedes and the Ford. I prefer the Ford. Obviously, the Mercedes is going to be top of the line. But to save all the money from Mercedes to get this is very, and, very nice. How I, do you feel? I, I like it. I like the feel of this. You know, uh, I'm not always happy in the Fords when I sit in here, but this is great. I nice. feel very comfortable. These seats do swivel. Nice. Me. Very nice. Are you sure? They look like it. All right. Well, come on out. Yeah, Let I me guess check. You get to swivel it. Hang on. Here we go now. 
Yes. I thought they do so. swivel. Yes, ma'am, they do. But they're comfortable seats. Yes. Now this one might not swivel because of that emergency brake. And then right up here, Andre, again, no bunk over the cab. It's a B plus. It's a little bit of storage with the TV. And let me tell you, that TV is actually in a good position because uh, your sofa's right here. Oh, very nice. Cabinetry. And look, Matt, you got a little sofa. A pedestal table goes right well, here. See, this is what I like in this traditional style. They always give you the dinette, so you always have to squeeze in. I rather not have the dinette. I rather be sitting back here chilling, and then if I need a dinette, I just drop it down with the pedestal table. You got your power and USB there. Um, there is something I'll comment about this a little later when we talk about likes and dislikes. Do you think it'll be a like or a dislike? Probably a dislike. It might. Hey, <laughs> it, it might be a like. You gotta stick around. Let's see. What do you think of these balances? Uh... Approved! Bing! Oh, that's the Andrea Valance approval. What we got here? Blinds or shades? Oh, we privacy. got privacy shades. And I think I felt a daytime. No, no, maybe not. But look, guys, look over here. You have your panel, your inverter, yes. all your buttons there, your screen. Very nice. I love how they do this. Okay. The railing. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Andrea, show us this kitchen. Hey, okay, look. Nice cabinetry. Very pretty. We've got a one burner induction cooktop, solid surface countertop, very pretty. Oh, um, and Jen, we actually don't know, and not just Jen, America, we actually don't know the MSRPs of a lot of these units. So if at any time Jen finds them, she'll have it scrolling um, during this part. Hey everyone, real quick, I just want to update everybody. For some reason, I can't find the Tiffin Midas on Tiffin's website right now, but I did see some on RV Trader and the MSRP was around one hundred and sixty eight thousand to one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars depending on the options and again that is for 2022s if you're interested in ordering one reach out to my team at generalrv.com backslash matt backslash matt's cash and somebody from my team will get you an order sheet and the msrp is going to be a little bit more since they are going to be 2023s but i also want to let people know if you are interested in a tiffin class a diesel pusher we have some incredible discounts. Uh, as you can see right here, bing, uh, we got this Tiffin Phaeton at 31% off. This one, uh, another Phaeton at 31% off. An Allegro bus, 45 OPP, the number one selling Tiffin Allegro bus at 21% off. An Allegro Red at 30% off. I mean, these are huge discounts that you don't normally see on Tiffin Class A diesel pushers. So if you're in the market for that, please call the phone number or go to generalrv.com backslash Matt's Cash or go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. We got great deals on Class A diesel Tiffins right now. Or if you want to order a Midas, we can do that for you too. Look at this nice drawer, soft oh. clothes. Very pretty. And then here as well, I don't think I'm level. And, and the problem is like we could go around asking people. Yep, keep going. Convection microwave, very nice. We can find the MSRP somehow, um, but it's just we, we don't have time. Nice and we got to sink. We got to be in and out like Nicolas Cage, That's right? That's right, guys. It's more important for us to. Oh, ooh, look at that. Yes, ma'am. OK, but first, because I'm right here. Look what they did here. See their little Tiffin emblem? Art Deco? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. No. Before you go on, it's important for us with the MSRP, it's important for us to film these units because we only have three days, and then the MSRPs will come as soon as we can find them. Wow. Yes. Check that out. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then we've got some drawers here. Looks like we have three. Okay. No, I like that. Four. One, two, three. Oh, three, sorry. And then the pants. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Very nice. Another cabinet. Oh my gosh. Another one. Look at that. You can put a lot of stuff in there. All right, so we have our little Norco refrigerator. Yes. Little tiny freezer, little fridge. Very nice. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just great. No slides are in here. Okay, Got look a, at the shower. Oh, sorry, wrong way, guys. Pocket door. Oh, wow. Very nice. Andre, for a B plus, it's definitely, I mean, it's a, it's a regular size shower, but for a B plus, it's definitely, oh, definitely a phenomenal shower. Look at this. This is adorable. Okay. I got to figure this out. There we go. Nice yeah. medicine cabinet. I love the sink. Very cute. Look, beautiful countertop. Then we've got a drawer here and a drawer here. 
And then also above, we have cabinets. Very nice. Interesting, Matt. I want to see your take on this. It's on a pedestal there, the toilet. Andrea, it's time for the hot take. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Porcelain. Um, and I'm a little tight right there. Andrea, unfortunately, here's what I will say. The raise up wasn't a bad thing. But this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. It's not bad though, Matt. I've seen so much worse. Oh, though, and no, it's definitely doable. So we got a step up right here, another yes. step up. Looks like we have a pedestal table that goes here as well. Yes. Very nice. Look at this bedroom. Big and spacious. I got something to comment on it in a moment. TV right there. We have very nice storage here. Three of them. Little cubbies back there with USBs. Yes, ma'am. Lights, windows, action. So this is more like you could use this as like a sofa area too. Yeah. Like no, a here. hangout area. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And storage. And drawers. In drawers. Very nice. And Andre, you're 100% right because that's a pedestal table there. Oh. No. So I was thinking. Okay, no, that's, no, just that's access. access. Yep. Because there's another one there. Okay. So no, it's probably just. Oh, a little wait. bit of storage from the outside. Okay, that's good. Yeah, definitely not bad. And then this can convert to a full bed area. I think it's a king size when you convert it. Or yes. more, probably bigger than a king. Andrea, there's a lot of big wigs here. There is. There's a lot of big wigs. Don't make me nervous. We'll see. What's up? What's up, Bob Martin? Good Bob, bring those. Again. Bring bring some of those European. Bring the Heimers over. over. Um. Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do three things that we dislike about it first. First? Yeah. Okay. You may go first. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, well, what I will say is I don't really care for in here so much. This is cute, but I wish there was more storage. Um, because you only really have this and then these. So okay. I kind of feel like it's lacking in storage. It is lacking maybe, in storage as maybe well. Maybe somewhere over here they could have had little cabinets or cubbies. I don't know. But I just know it needs more storage. It is lacking in storage in the bedroom as well yes. on those side walls. Definitely. That's number one. Andre, number two for me, this sofa doesn't feel like I'm sitting, like I'm in transport mode. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like, I'm just kind of sitting here and I don't, I feel like I would slide all over. I feel like a less comfortable, I feel like one of two things. Give me a super comfortable sofa or a lot less comfortable sofa that's safer for transit. Just kind of how I'm feeling on the situation. Um, not horrible, it just is what it is. That's number two. Oh, you have a number third. I think they could have did an L shape right here. You know. So number three, you kind of yeah. wish an L shape for like yeah. another seating area. Yes. I agree, Andre. And again, yeah. you know, the whole thing is you really don't need much of the table space. You only need it when it's up. Right. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Andre, I'm going first. Sure. I'm going back there. Okay. Move on. Here we go. Andre, remember how we at you talked about the cabinets how you didn't like? Yes. And remember how I talked about there wasn't a lot of cabinets here? Right. Well, I was tricking everybody because I actually do like that because in here it does, it's small, but it does make it feel super roomy and spacious. I love that. And then the fact how, you know, truthfully, like you don't even need a dinette up there because this is where people would sit and eat at the dinette and have a good time. That's number one. Andrea, like number two? Uh, number two, I gotta say, uh, I like this bathroom. For how small it yes, is. Yes, I really do. I love all the little touches. I love what they've done. I love the sink. It's adorable. And for it being a small motorhome, the bathroom is great. Andrea, that's what we saw a lot in Europe. Yes. We saw these small motorhomes that actually had decent bathrooms, and I love that. That's number two. And then Andrea. Oh gosh, that garage. Yes, number three is going to be a combo between the aluminum slam latch doors, the aluminum sideways swinging slam latch doors, which we love, and then this garage area. Not just the garage area, but the uh, automotive design garage area. Let's get over here out of the way. I absolutely love that. And again, not, not just that, I'm gonna do a third combo with this paint job, Andrea, 
it's very nice it's very sleek and not your typical there's another tiffin right not your typical rv paint job you know what i'm saying yes which i love well andrea that's it that's the review thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are interested in this unit please go to our website mattsrvreviews.com fill out the contact form we're gonna make sure that you guys get a great price great service and the best rv buying experience andrea anything you want to say yes i'm gonna stand over here Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. And real quick, sorry, I think we forgot this beautiful Gerard awning. Yeah, nice power awning with wind sensor. It just caught my attention. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. We do know that Tiffin does read the comments. Tiffin doesn't read it, Colin reads it. That's right, and we thank him so much. Guys, uh, please forgive us if there's some pauses in between our videos. Like, you know, we have to respect all the dealerships here yep. and the dealers. So if we have to uh, pause, just, you know, keep on going. Going. Yep, and you guys will see that we're not shortening our videos, no. America. Uh, it's just here at Open House, yes. we, we just need to be a little it's bit a, quicker it is. It's a and efficient. It's a different kind of uh, feel. It's a vibe. So it's different a vibe. feng shui. But guys, yeah, let us know what you think. And uh, don't forget to check out our European edition on the weekends. Yep. And I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.